Uh, and uh, hello, people watching uh, out on uh, on YouTube. My name is uh, Constable Scott Mills. I'm a Toronto Police Service officer. I work in corporate communications, which is located at 40 College Street, which is just around the corner from where we're standing right here. We're standing in Luke's Lane, uh, which is beside the coroner's office in Toronto. We understand the coroner's office is actually moving uh, not too long from now. But uh, what we did... What this location is and significance of this location is directly behind us where Richard, my friend Richard and I are standing, um, is the end of the Highway of Heroes, which basically means that for a soldier that was killed in Afghanistan, uh, serving and protecting our country for freedom and for peace, when they were brought back home, they would be brought in for an autopsy here at the coroner's op office, and they were brought back with community members that were standing on bridges once they landed at CFB Trenton and they were brought down this entire route where they were honored by 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 police officers, fire department, ambulance, most importantly community members and the family members and the comrade of that uh, officer, the, the soldier that came back, the last thing they saw when they came in here was this graffiti art mural behind us which has been totally vandalized now um, that celebrated peace and respect for these fallen soldiers. And uh, I'll tell you w w what happened here is Richard is the uncle of a fallen soldier named Matthew McCauley who uh, died in Afghanistan serving our country in 2007. He's from Orangeville, Ontario. After the graffiti artist did this mural, I was a, I was a, a part of actually helping them do this mural and designing the mural. Um, Richard showed up at my office and, and just wanted to say thanks and he showed up with an obituary card of Matthew McCauley and we came over here and did a YouTube video just like we're doing today. I, I'm going to turn it over to Richard here because I think it's very important that Richard speak because he showed up uh, again today, Wednesday the 18th of uh, um, September 2013. So this is six years after Matthew's death. Richard showed up in my office today, and I just want Richard to say why he showed up at Toronto Police Headquarters and why we're over here doing this video today. I, thank you, Scott. I showed up today to tell Scott and everybody else that's watching this video that myself and, and my sister and, uh, are upset about what happened here, and I'm glad to hear from Scott that it's going to be fixed on Friday, and I hope to be here Friday. And thanks, Scott, and everybody that was involved in the original doing of the mural, that it will be repaired. And uh, I'm so thankful. But when I first found out it through the media that this happened, I was very, very upset. I didn't know what to do. I, I know that I wanted to come down and see Scott and tell him how I felt. And I know I'm not the only one that feels like this. I'm one of many, probably thousands right across Canada and I know that this will be fixed and and hopefully it never happens again so thank you so much for interviewing me well thank you for coming down Richard very important that you're here very uh, your support is appreciated by by I'm sure everybody remembering Matthew and as well as the other uh, fallen soldiers so what we're gonna do uh, because your your nephew was killed is we're gonna screen share an article in the Orangeville paper just to give a little bit of history uh, we're trying to educate people the memory of these soldiers alive through this project which is going to be rebuilt happily by uh, Jesse Pacho um, and Kedry Brown who are graffiti artists they were the uh, Kedry inspired the mural yeah, and Jesse actually led the Flemington Neighborhood Services youth to do the mural. So Jesse and Kedry are coming down here Friday morning. They're going to fix this up, and uh, we're not going to let the vandalism stand in the way of never forgetting Matthew or any other fallen soldier. What, what I want to say is uh, I'll be glad to meet them in person and thank them for what they did and what they're going to be doing on Friday too. So you'll be here on Friday then? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Thanks for I'm coming try down, help. Richard. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, what we're going to do now is just screen share this so this video is still live. So you're welcome to stay there, or I'm just going to screen share the story here, and we're going to read about Matthew. And uh, there we go. So yeah. thanks a lot, Richard. And uh, thank you to Claire Crosley, who's holding the coat over here <laughs> so that we can see the screen so that we know what we're doing. Um, and so all we're going to do is go screen share. 
and uh, there's the story, and hopefully you're about to see the story on here, and it's all from 2007 in the Orangeville paper. There's a picture of Corporal Matthew McCulley, and it it basically gives the the history and story, and uh, I'm just going to read that to you here. It says, Military Funeral Plan for Corporal Matthew McCulley. The Canadian flags in Orangeville are at half-staff. Corporal Matthew McCulley, 25 of Orangeville, died May 25th when he stepped on a roadside bomb about 30 kilometers east of Kandahar, Afghanistan. Corporal McCulley was conducting a joint Afghan-Canadian foot patrol at the time of his death. Corporal McCulley grew up in Orangeville. He was involved with Scouts Canada and later did a high school co-op placement with the reserves. He attended Robert F. Hall Secondary School and later Orangeville District Secondary School. He joined the Canadian Forces five years ago, so that's five years ago before his death in 2007, so 2002, and was a signals operator based at CFB in Petawawa. And it goes on, reaction from the mayor, it was a sad day Friday when we learned of the death of Corporal Matthew McCulley. Orangeville Mayor Rob Adams said, you have to respect his courage, strength, and conviction to fight and to lead so others could hope for a better life. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Corporal McCauley. It also goes on to say uh, about the Highway of Heroes in the article and that his body was going to arrive at this location. And I think it's very important that we educate in relation to Corporal Matthew McCauley and all the other fallen soldiers, A, that we never forget their sacrifice, B, that we remember all of the family members that are currently still affected by this, like Richard, and see that memorial dedications like this stand, and if they are vandalized, that they're repaired, and people take ownership uh, for um, educating people in the future so that we can have peace in our world, and that's what this is all about. So thank you very much for listening and watching, and uh, a special uh, thank you to the artists from Flemington Neighborhood Services, uh, led by uh, Jesse uh, Pacho. Um, the artists, uh, Kedry Brown and Jesse Pacho, will be down here Friday, uh, the 20th, all day, and they'll be re uh, redoing this uh, mural. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll now uh, sign off. Uh, Richard... Richard just said that this makes him feel better just coming down here. So, um, Richard, you, do you want to have some final words there? Because the video is still going. Here, I'll just pass the mic over to you. I'm going to be here on Friday. It's not might. I'm going to be here on Friday. Th thank you for watching this video. God bless.